Hi everyone, this is uh, just gonna be a quick little video update here from the National Weather Service in Kansas City, Pleasant Hill, uh, talking about the increasing potential here for a dangerous heavy rain and flooding event across a good swath of the region here later on this evening and overnight through early Friday morning. Right now we're expecting an area of thunderstorms to develop here late this evening, maybe between five to 7 p.m. across parts of Eastern Kansas into Western Missouri. Right now, the WPC has uh, upped our uh, excessive rainfall risk to a moderate across a good portion of the area from Topeka through the KC Metro and all the way up towards Macon and, the, and approaching Kirksville there. So basically from northeast Kansas into west central Missouri into uh, north central Missouri with this moderate risk of excessive rainfall. We're expecting widespread amounts of anywhere to one to four inches. Uh, possible and local higher amounts uh, close to seven inches and likely in excess of seven inches in some places. And latest uh, model trends have have us a little bit concerned about uh, portions of the metro being uh, under the bullseye for those heavier amounts. We do have a flood watch in effect still across a good portion of the area. Uh, it includes basically nearly all of the northeastern Kansas into western Missouri and north central Missouri. Again, that heaviest rainfall is expected to develop between 5 to 7 p.m. and then continue overnight tonight. Uh, widespread amounts 1 to 4 and amounts of 7 plus inches remain possible. Let's take a little a look at some, some model data here. Uh, let's take a look at the, this is the high resolution ensemble forecast. This incorporates a lot of short range models. This is six hour precipitation mean uh, um, basically, I, I'm showing this to show you kind of the spread of how rain might move into the area. So this is uh, current time rate or early afternoon time frame. So still some of that rainfall across parts of northern Missouri. So we step through, you can see rain starts to develop through 5, 6, 7 p.m. across the area. And we get pretty widespread rainfall amounts uh, as we move through Friday morning as well. Rain continues on across portions of the area through sunrise on Friday. Um, now let's look at actual amounts here. So this is 24 hour precip ending at uh, noon tomorrow on Friday. So basically from noon today through noon Friday, this is a 24 hour snapshot of rainfall. This is just the, the, the mean ensemble of the, uh, of the HRF uh, model that we have. And rainfall amounts are anywhere from even just in the, the, the mean here is anywhere from one to two inches across portions of the region, including right through the KC metro area. If we step up to the 95th percentile, so this is like worst case scenario, uh, the HRF is still struggling even to get close to three to four inches with some pockets of, of five to six. Uh, so models are underdoing a little bit of our concerns here. We've got plenty of moisture. We're gonna have a, a, a frontal boundary outstretched across the region. And uh, we're definitely expecting amounts that could exceed uh, seven inches across parts of the area. Where this heaviest rainfall swath sets up, that's going to be the challenge as we move through the afternoon here and taking a look at the uh, the model guidance, the radar trends, everything that's going on across the region, um, looking at the observations. We're going to keep a close watch on it as always as we move through the, the afternoon and evening and continually provide updates uh, on our webpage. So uh, make sure you stay up to date on the forecast, weather.gov forward slash Kansas City. Uh, for those uh, emergency management public safety partners, uh, we'll be posting updates in NWS chat and Slack. Uh, you can call us at any time if you have any questions or concerns, and we will be posting updates as we can on social media as well. Everyone stay safe out there and I appreciate you watching.